Do you have this question? Am I speaking right or wrong? One student told me this again. She said that, sir, I am always doubtful that whether I am speaking right English or wrong English. I don't know whether it's right or wrong. How to judge? I mean, how to figure out? How to figure it out? Do we... Okay, for maths we have... Okay, this is the example. Answer is this. So, yeah, correct. My, my answer is correct. This answer is correct. Now, can you keep a person? Can you keep a teacher for you? 24-7. Hire a teacher, hire a person who will tell you, hey, this is wrong, this is right. Can you do that? How to figure it out? How do we know it? Sir, the grammar rules are there? No. Well, <laughs> grammar rules? How many rules are you going to by heart? Which rule is applied here? Where is that rule applied? Are you going to pause and refer a grammar book like while well, well speaking? Are you going to do that? How are you going to apply that? How are you going to do that? It's not possible. Then, one student said to me, sir, then when another person laughs at your English, then you are wrong. I said, there are many reasons for laughing. He may be laughing at something else. He may be purposely doing that. Maybe your friend wants to pull you down. Then, well, dear friends, well, dear friends, well, dear friends, there is a method, but no shortcut. If you try to understand, try to... I have faced this problem, first of all. I have faced this problem. There was a stage in my life when I used to feel like whether I'm speaking right or wrong. Will my students... I was a, working as an engineering teacher. Will my students laugh at my English? Will they feel like I'm speaking wrong English? So while speaking, my confidence was low. And see what happens. When you don't know whether you're speaking right or wrong, your confidence is low and you hesitate and talk and you repeat the sentence. You, uh, 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 stammering is there. But when you speak, when you know that what you're speaking is right, you you don't hesitate. You don't stutter, stammer, vocabulary just 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 goes f flows so freely out of your mouth that even people are bewitched they're saying oh my god look at this and there is a method for this and the method is this so you understand one thing inside our brain inside our brain there is one area Bruca's area and Wernicke's area these are the two areas that are called as language centers now understand one thing how it works many of you want to take a shortcut and you want to know that whether I'm speaking right or wrong, I can learn it from grammar or from some teacher. No. In your brain, that mechanism is already there. Only you have to activate that mechanism. What happens is, when you are speaking right English, when you're speaking right English, the connectivity between two neurons is very quick. In short, just imagine two neurons are close and there is electric impulse that flows to those neurons and it passes quickly but when you're not speaking right english when you're making some mistakes that neurons do not allow the current the impulses to pass and you stutter try to understand when you start following the english habits properly which i have told all my videos when you speak regularly number two number two number one when you repeat the habits regularly and when you speak regularly, all those neural connections get closer and closer and the current or the electricity or the impulse, whatever you call, starts flowing easily and effortlessly. And then it starts, then you start speaking, then people start listening, then they start repeating, then they start responding. And slowly, 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 you start speaking. And then try to understand here, important point is, you realize that, yes, I'm speaking right. Now, all of you understand, huh? right now I'm talking to you. If I make a mistake while speaking, if I make a grammatical mistake, I can figure it out. I can figure it out. Even I don't need anyone to tell me that I'm speaking wrong. Same thing happens with your mother tongue also. When you're speaking in your mother tongue and when you make a mistake, you don't make a mistake. When you make a mistake, you can figure it out. But do you know one thing? When you become good in English and any language, even if you want to speak wrong, you can't speak wrong. If you try to speak wrong, you can't. Even I tried that. I tried speaking wrong, but I am not able to do that. You have to give a lot of efforts for that. At the initial stage, to speak right, you have to give efforts. But when you become fluent, you have to take more efforts to speak wrong English. And that will only happen when you spend one to two years with English. And only then that internal gyroscope is there, that, that factor is there, that Broca's area, Wernicke's area, will start allowing those neurons to pass the currents quickly and when you start speaking it's so natural and spontaneous that you even don't think about whether you're speaking right or wrong it just flows out of your mouth you're getting my point so well what is the solution solution is very simple 
very simple just spend more time with english and speak more english just consume more english and speak more english automatically all these words all these sentences will be formed and you don't need to check whether you're speaking right or wrong it is right but don't think about whether it is right or wrong it will be right getting it friends in this way i worked on myself you don't need any reference book or grammar book or any teacher to correct you will be able to correct yourself naturally it happens and right now whether you're speaking right or wrong is not important important is speaking are you speaking are you talking because without talking without speaking errors will not come down errors will never improve by reading grammar books errors will only improve when you speak more and more when you have the right surrounding and next you have the right habits but before that you should have the right mindset the right psychology hope this video will help you dear friends hope it will help you and a day will come when you are not thinking about your english but you are speaking right english and everyone will admire you and say wow how you did it don't forget to tell my name goodbye thank you Thank you.